Okay. Um, let's see. So the first thing we're going to go over is the new user onboarding flow. So I think we saw the initial version of this last week, uh, but there have been some updates this week to, uh, let's see, what did we do? We added chat back into the new user work stream. Is that right, Ryan? Correct. Yeah. Um, so if I go over here, let me go to a new incognito. Oops. Let's up here. slash new user. So we have this page, which I think we've seen before. And once the spin wheel is done here, we should be able to update some content or upload some content, sorry. <clears throat> and then that is finished. And just as a reminder, when this gets to 100%, that means it's been loaded into our queue to start processing, does not mean that it's chat ready just yet. Um, so that's one thing we know we want to improve in the new user experiences. Uh, having that displayed to the user somewhere, like in the signed in view, you can actually see the processing status of individual reports, uh, but that does not yet exist in the new user experience. So I'm deliberately giving us a 30 second pause here to make sure that uh, that content is ready to chat with, um, but just want to make sure CX is aware so we don't uh, get worried about that no content bug. Okay, so I've gone forward, you can see my file is here. Uh, the chat window comes automatically open when you get to the next page, and I should be able to ask for a summary here and get an answer back. So we can now upload and chat, no problem, as a new user not signed in. So you can see if I upload this, there's a create an account option. Um, but yeah, I should be able to chat, use the question library. Basically, behind the scenes, what we're actually doing here is we're still creating a user uh, for this person, even though they're not signed in. It's what we're calling an anonymous user. So they get a user ID, they get a record in our database, they can create behind the scenes. We're creating a work stream for them, uploading content, everything on the back end works the same way it does for a signed in user. Uh, we're just limiting some of the features that they can use. So that's why we were seeing, you know, that spike in user activity yesterday of people with no first name, last name, email, it's anonymous users. Okay, um, only other thing to note here is that uh, we talked about transitioning from one session to another with the new user experience, which should work. The only thing that does not work yet is when you go create an account, moving over all the content, chat history, everything you've had from your uh, anonymous session into your signed in session. So that's basically the, the job to be done there is convert converting user accounts from anonymous to full user experience. What it's gonna happen right now is it will just create a brand new user account for them. So that's not carried over. So that's kind of the next to do item in this new user experience here. By the way, uh, so if if like uh, I'm an existing user, but I didn't log in and then I just go through the workflow. But if then I doing logging, so where this, those kind of like what should be carried over to my existing account? Uh, so the short answer is no. So if you have an account already, my understanding is that the new slash new user should redirect you to your like normal page. So that'll prevent that from happening. Right. But if I didn't yeah. log in, so that one won't happen, right? If they're not logged in, then it won't happen. Yeah. Um, so they would be creating one, creating a work stream under an anonymous user account that would not be carried over there. Yeah. 